for coming and joining us here in Port Mosby. Uh, so with those few remarks, let me uh, invite uh, the President uh, to say a few words and to take a few questions. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. And from the outset, I'd like to express our deep gratitude on behalf of the people of Bougainville and the ABG to the Prime Minister and his government for the um, very constructive discussions we've had and the good resolutions that we have reached based on the peace agreement. Uh, the Bougainville Peace Agreement, of course, everybody knows, is a concoction between the created by the national government of Papua New Guinea and the leaders of the people of Bougainville. I mean, some people of Bougainville, that's all. So both governments have a serious responsibility to jointly uh, implement it as, as it is a joint creation. So we have tried very hard, and I think this um, uh, meeting, this JSV meeting, shows our commitment to maintain a process that has integrity. Two governments must discuss openly and uh, uh, intelligently, of course, uh, the issues that confront both governments. And I'm happy to say that uh, with the leadership of uh, the Prime Minister and his team, we have come to uh, some very good dis decisions which uh, were not thought possible uh, in the, in the, in the recent times, but I think because of the uh, commitment that both governments have and because of our commitment to the big picture that the peace agreement uh, requires of us, and that is to fully implement the peace agreement, we have, we have taken some very good measures to deal with uh, transitional issues that could become roadblocks to enable the two governments to, to uh, prepare for the referendum. Uh, properly, and uh, as the Prime Minister has said, uh, most of this work has been done. We now have to embark on a massive program of raising awareness, not only, Bo not only in Bougainville, but also in PNG, because it's a joint thing, and if uh, people are, not only the leadership, but the uh, people in the country understand that we must jointly work hard to find a very good, peaceful, mutually acceptable outcome. And that is why the process must have integrity. Because if the process has integrity, the negotiated outcome will necessarily have integrity. And that is all we want to achieve in order to uh, uh, in, in order to, to uh, let our people know that their concerns are in good hands, both the national government and the ABG are working at uh, ways of finding solutions. We've also decided in this meeting that the national government must have greater visibility in Bougainville in terms of uh, uh, construction uh, of projects and programs that ABG and the ABG and the national government must jointly determine the, court, the, the priorities uh, in Bougainville. And I think uh, we will, from now on, also have more uh, political dialogue between members of the national parliament, the ABG parliament, uh, bureaucrats from both sides, and, of course, with the great awareness that we want to create in, in Papua New Guinea and Bougainville, there will be a much better understanding and support for this process, which will be a, a world-class uh, achievement if we get it right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.